So, I'm sitting here at my computer and I'm on YouTube and I'm reading the comments. Um, and throughout this entire Crack Bulkhead rebuild series, we've literally received hundreds of comments suggesting that Jamie and I have balls of steel. We've had brass balls, we've had huge balls, we've had all sorts of testicular comments. And I was just wondering how does one gauge the correlation between the size of one's testicles and their ability to withstand a large amount of fiberglass dust. I remember from university that the volume of a sphere is four over, four over, four over three pi r cubed. But is a testicle a sphere? I think not. Anyway, if you guys could let us know in the comment section, I'd much appreciate it. And uh, the best comment, I'll uh, send you a couple of Parlay t-shirts. I hope we can get to the bottom of this. <laughs> Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a hurricane damaged Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? Morning guys. I'm feeling the burn this morning. Forearms are tired as hell. It was a pretty long day. It was, ended up being six hours of, of grinding inside the boat in those suits and masks and stuff. So it's pretty tough. Got another beam to go through there. 19 or 20 layers of glass each side of the bulkhead. Just gonna take that down to the plywood. On the other side, we found that the plywood wasn't actually cracked, which is amazing. But the, uh, the beam had cracked. The glass had cracked, but the plywood was fine. So. Um, no repair necessary to the actual bulkhead, it's the beam that we got to got to uh, repair. So we're going to do that all with epoxy. It's either going to come out alive or dead, there's no in between. <laughs> How are you feeling? You sore? I'm not sore, I feel a bit fucked, like a bit dehydrated, but... Lucky you went for a run and did a workout this morning then. Yeah. <laughs> what a peanut. <laughs> but that's the motivation for the old six pack. <laughs> we're leaving, yeah. leaving here in two months. We want to leave with six packs. How, what are we running at the moment? Okay. One pack. Got this tabbing on the main bulkhead. They call it the primary bulkhead. The tabbing on the bulkhead, which connects it to the hull, has just been tabbed over the, the resin infusion tube, that spiral tube that they put through to do the infusion. And they've just tabbed over it, so there's a fucking air pocket either side of the tube. So, as if there's good contact between the glass and the hull when it's glass like that. So. We're just taking out this tube now so that we can get a proper tab happening between this bulkhead and the hull. We thought we would have this area livable and not get any dust and shit in here. And just from the back glass we did yesterday, we just found these random cracks for the dust to come through. And there's a layer of dust on everything in here. So I've got to sit there and edit uh, in the dusty fucking salon now. But yeah, this is all dust. 
We even taped this up, but it found a way to come out come out behind the chart plotter. Up under there there must be a, a gap in the in the cabinetry and there's a solid layer of glass over everything. Bears are dusty. Can't have that. So this is under the the salon. Um, and the glue goes all the way up in there and goes all the way down under the salon doors. There we go guys, this, this uh, wall here is not even glued to the hull, it was just this little shitty wall here that was glued. So I'm going to knock all this out and then we'll glass this to the hull to give this all more strength. This is quite an important curvature of the boat here that uh, we want to stop from falling in again. That's where I'll be guys, up there. Alrighty, now that that's all done, I'm under the salon doors here. So, yeah. So, yeah. Que pasa? Scusa. <laughs> this is these are the salon doors right here. So I'm taking this cabinet out, and the last of the uh, the glue that we have to get out is just down here. So it's tight little space, hopefully my multi-tool will fit, but we uh, want it to look like this with the multi-tool and then we're going to just quickly grind that down to the fiberglass so that our new glass will stick to fiberglass and not glue or gel coat or anything like that. So, I've got to get in here. What do you reckon? It might be a bit too tight. If it's too tight, I might have to remove this which means cutting that whole drain box out okay can't get my multi tool in there and if we cut the drain out here a bit unfortunate Here we are in the starboard aft cabin, we're at the engine room bulkhead on the aft end of the cabin and uh, we've got delamination of the tabbing happening again so Jamie's just working on this one, he's taken the tabbing off a section of it and uh, we're just trying to get back to good glass, same shit different location and I'm working in here in the starboard aft cabin bathroom the glue shit has come off the wall here um, so Getting it out with the multi tool, and then after I've got the glue out, I'm just going to grind it with the grinder so that we can tab it with epoxy and glass. But I'm trying to work up there. I've got most of it out already, but that last little bit is just being a pain in the ass. Alright guys, so it's it's day four of the grinding inside the boat. Um, we've finished both the forward cabins where the primary bulkhead is, which is supporting the mast and everything. Uh, we finished Jamie's cabin last night and the bathroom's over that side. So now we're in the port aft cabin. This is where I sleep. And we're going to try to start attacking this framework that goes under the salon doors. So this is a bitch of a spot. I've got to climb back up there. I've already taken the glue out, um, but now we've got to grind it so that the glass is something to adhere to. Anyway, this should be our last 
major day of grinding inside the boat. We think maybe two days of grinding, and then maybe two or three days of glassing. Um, and then we can give the boat a huge clean up tomorrow. There is dust everywhere. Okay, I've done all the inside of that part now. This is this is the salon where the salon doors are. So now I'm gonna climb this hole that we made and start grinding the back side of this wall all the way till the center, till midships on the boat. And then we'll pull the cabinet out and uh, come in from the other side where the steering cables are and get the other side. So we're getting through it. Final day of grinding. How was your claustrophobic episode? <laughs> I wasn't filming, but I just had a major panic attack. I was right up in there. I could only just get these cartridges through the gap. Then when I tried to come out, the cartridges got caught, and I just freaked out. I started shaking my head, and I had to get out of there because it's so hot. And I ripped my mask straight off my face, and I uh, came out and nearly cried. <laughs> Luck. Yeah, that's you, it. Yeah. You know it's bad when this is one of the more comfortable positions. <laughs> this is actually not as bad as it looks compared to some of the other shit we've done. So this is what I'm working on here. This is what I'm working on, getting all this out, getting a bit of grind happening there and grind back there. All the way up to there. This crack in this frame here, uh, the correct way to, to repair these, instead of leaving it and just glassing over the ply, which is super tempting because you could just do that so easily, the proper way to repair it is to grind out the crack, V it out, and then uh, fill that with epoxy, um, and then glass over it so that the plywood, you know, when there's a crack, it's, it's able to just freely move like that. If we fill that all with epoxy, um, and then glass it, it's all just gonna be completely bonded together with epoxy. That's why we're gonna spread the load here and glass all the way up here. And then all the way down across to the other side of the boat. So this whole thing's gonna be strong and stop this bridge deck from wanting to collapse again. <laughs> So today, since we finished grinding yesterday, we have to take everything out of the salon. Because look, the dust is just everywhere. So now we're just taking everything outside, and then we're gonna fully clean it, and then clean everything as we bring it in. So, it's gonna be another itchy day. Ah. I don't know if it's ever gonna end, guys, but we're still going. Um, Everything's just shit everywhere. So the salon is nearly clean. Wipe down, set the floor. We'll do the floor last, because I'm about to start in the cabin, so I'm gonna be dragging stuff up and down, up and down. But this vacuum is a fuck. She's a ripper. And yeah, so I've got to start in here now, but it's gonna be a lot of fiberglass in here for a while yet. So I've just received a call from
from a Lagoon 450 owner in Martinique and he just told me that there's 10 other Lagoon 450s there with damaged bulkheads. I don't know if it's tr how true it is, I don't know what this guy's deal is, um, but he's got a 450 and he's got broken bulkheads and he's trying to ta say that it's a design flaw. Fuck, this didn't even occur to me that it was an option, but he says there's 10 other boats right there in Martinique and he's actually looking to um, file a lawsuit. I'll keep you guys updated with what, what happens. I've got his details now, but well, that's a crazy turn of events. Fuck.